So we've had up to 700 people in Dublin out protesting against asylum seekers coming into Ireland. And joining me is Herman Kelly, president of the Irish Freedom Party, a former colleague of mine in Brussels. Herman, um, you know, we always think of Ireland as being Ireland as being very open, very tolerant. What has sparked these street protests? What has sparked this ire and this anger? Well, a hundred years after partial Irish independence, Sinn Féin, the so-called Republican Party, uh, have carried out their policy, and it's carried out by all the main parties in Ireland, be it Fianna Fáil or Fianna Gael, and that policy is on immigration, is Brits out, everybody else in. And you wouldn't believe that, w partly without any debate in Ireland at all, uh, the percentage of the population, 17% of the Irish population at the moment, are non-nationals. 17% of people born in Ireland currently live outside Ireland. So it's a one-for-one -one replacement. There's nothing theoretical in it. And as you mentioned there, it is a huge security, security risk because 40% of the very large people who come into Ireland to claim asylum for whatever reason or any reason at all, 40% say that they've between getting on the plane and getting off in Dublin, that they've lost their passport. But they can all turn up at the customs uh, kiosk and say asylum. And the, the minister, uh, Roderick O'Gorman, has basically sent out search parties looking for uh, asylum claimants around the world, telling them that they, will, they can all get a free house or free access to housing, free health care, free education, four months after they've got approval for their asylum application. So at the moment, the country is now full.